Ms. Morris, you've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant is the father of your one-month-old son, Jackson. Uh, you hope these results will save your family because you have two other kids together. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Byram, you say the plaintiff admitted to sleeping with another man, and when the results prove you are not Jackson's father, you plan to leave for good. Yes, I do. All right, so Mr. Byram, there's a lot at stake today, am I yes, correct? Yes, our whole relationship is based on this paternity test right here. Explain. This is, this is the second time she's done this to me. Since we've been together, this isn't just the, the first time that she's cheated on me. This is the second time. And I've been nothing but faithful and loving to her since day one. Second time. It happened once. Ms. Morris, did you cheat on him? Yes, Your Honor. Ooh. Now you're here saying he is the father of your one-month-old child, even though you say I cheated. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Byram, how did you find out about the cheating? How well, did you discover this? Me and the dude she cheated on me with were hanging out the night before. Because we were, we, were, we were really close friends. Okay. We stayed up all night, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. I wake up probably 7 o'clock. He's already gone. She fought with me the night before so she can leave and stay at her grandma's house. I went over to her grandma's to, you know, because she was over there with the kids. I seen him on the couch at first through the window. And then... I, that's when I started banging on the doors and the windows. And then I go in the house. He's hiding up in the attic of her grandma's house. Hiding in the attic? Yes, ma'am. Hiding in the attic up in her grandma's house. I told him, you gotta... How did you, you gotta... find him in the attic? I started searching the house because I had a feeling that they were together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so then what happened? Um, he took off out of the house and... Basically, I just went home and got my stuff together and left for a couple months. So, Ms. Morris, how do you end up sleeping with his friend? We were having trouble way before I even slept with his friend. I was always constantly getting accused. He's always constantly telling me I'm cheating. It's been happening for four years now. And so, what I'm trying to understand we, is he keeps accusing you, so you just go ahead and validate the accusation? Well, we technically, technically we split up for a month. Technically, we split up for a month, and he was living down the street at his friend's, and he was dating a different girl, and I was staying in the house with the guy, the other potential father. So we split up for the a month. So the reason you... I left is because you cheated on me. Period. The end. That's it. Well, you shouldn't treat me like crap, and you've always accused Whatever me. Whatever you say. So when did you sleep with Mr. Byram? You say you are certain he's the father of Jackson. When did you sleep with him? September 27th. September 27th. She could have slept with him the same day. I slept with him on September 25th. That's why we're here today for the results. Oh! Oh, so you slept with the other guy September 25th? Yes, Your Honor. And so you two have two other children together? Yes, Your Honor. And now this family is in jeopardy because you admit you slept with his friend and him within two days. Yeah, sure. It wasn't just that one time she's saying. She was sleeping with him every day. I would go over there and get mine in the morning, and we, she would have him at we night. Split up for, we split up for a month, and he was constantly blowing my phone up every day because we, we completely split up. He moved to his friends down the street, and I was still in the house. Like, I, I was the one that got to stay at the house with the other two children. And so you, this, this thing with the friend wasn't a one-time thing. No. They were in a relationship after I we moved out. We were in a relationship they got together. when me and him split up for that month. No, yeah. they were together from, like, July all the way until November. We this were, isn't just a month I'm, thing. This I'm was saying like a we were in a thing. potential and relationship. Then you, and then you all, month. after all of this, you yeah. got back together? I, I wanted to get back together because my daughter is in love with me. She's constantly with me. She don't want no, nothing to do with anybody else. I, I want to be there for my kids. I'm trying to make stuff work with her. That's it. I, 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 my dad dipped out on me, and I'm not dipping out on my kids. So, did you tell the other guy, Miss Morris, that he could be the father as well? Yes, Your Honor. She's, st she's still talking it, to his mom about it. No. Sending his mom pictures of the baby. And she's trying to tell me that it's my kid. His mother, the other guy's mother, said if it does turn out to be her son's, that she wanted to be in his life. So when the baby was first born, I sent her pictures of the baby because she true. was asking me you just about, did it last if, week. about how much he was. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. About how much he weighed and all that. So it's not an everyday thing. It, it only happened twice. 
So basically, that's the only reason I sent pictures to her was because she wants to be. That's. And she wants to be a grandmother if okay. it turns out to it's, be. Well, then why are have you guys taken, my kid if you're have still? Have you taken being, Jackson mm. to see her or the other? Potential father? No, the other potential father is actually incarcerated right now, or else he would be here too. Dude's in prison. I've been taking care of her and, and both of the kids. Don't get me wrong, her grandma helps us out with diapers and stuff, but I've been taking care of her and our kids by myself. She don't work. I go to I go to school. I go to cosmetology school, and the only reason I had to drop out was because I had the baby. So I plan on going back in the fall. It's just I have to get you know a babysitter and stuff. So it's not like I sit around the house and do nothing. So are you two together now or apart? We are, are they... in a complicated relationship yes, together. Yes, very complicated. Do you, you, you live together? Yes, ma'am. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Do you treat Jackson differently? I don't, I, I do yes, a little do. bit. Yes, he does. He um, shows my other two way more attention than he shows him. Do you blame him. me? He... So you do admit you're having a I, hard time bonding yeah, with yes. Jackson because you him, don't know. So I still buy him clothes and toys and do whatever for him, but I just, I keep my distance from him because I don't know if he's my son. And then sometimes he'll say it's his son, sometimes he'll act like a dad to him, and then sometimes he won't. So it's like a, a mood swing type of thing. Like he'll say, oh, well, okay, yeah, he's my son. And then a day, and then a couple days later, he'll say, oh, no, that's... I don't know, and, and but then he'll switch it up. Ms. Morris, you do understand how difficult this must be for him. I, he's looking at this child, lives in his home with his other two children, but he's thinking, this baby may be my friend's. Was uh, pretty much my best friend, almost. We were hanging out every day, and just because... He's gonna say, oh, you're cute, and this and that, and game her up, doesn't mean he could, he could sleep with her, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So... You could have slept on me in the past. I, I wouldn't know. Like, just because he's giving you compliments doesn't mean anything. Like, they went out to dinner. She told me this. They went out to a movie and dinner, and she had to pay for herself. Like, come on now. Miss Morris, I, I, I do have to ask you, I mean, if you're separated and you all are not together and he's dating somebody else and you decide to date, why his friend? Just, he's always, like I said, he's always... He's he was not, always he, there because he was my friend. He was always over a lot, I'll admit that, but it's just, I, he's always treated me like crap, but he always belittles me. It's been going on for four years now, and it's just... Do you have feelings for this other guy? No, I don't. I you mean, if, yeah, he's the, if he's the father, I've done a lot of being in his talk life. About him, you tell you know, me when I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to keep, I'm not gonna keep a kid away from their I'm father. Not. I don't think any woman should do that. Okay. So, Mr. Byron, you just said, wait. When you're in an argument, she says you're not the father. She tells but me you I'm not the father. In court today, she that he's the father. Morris, that you believe he is. No, when we are. Is that true? Yes, when we argue, anytime we get into an argument over anything else, he'll say, oh, well, he's not my baby and blah, blah, blah. And then his own mom won't even see the baby because she, you know... Nobody knows if it's my kid. Nobody's going to so bond family, with a kid that's not mine. So your family has Nobody. not bonded with Jackson? No, they well. have not. My brother, my brother has. My mom, no. When you had the baby, who was at the birth? You were. I was there for everything. Every step of her pregnancy, helping her out, doing everything for her the whole time. So, all right. So, you helped her out the entire time? You came when the baby was born? I was there. If you... I held the baby first. Did you sign the birth certificate? No, I no. did not. You did not? No. I just kept looking at him and thinking about what she did to me, and I just... I can't do it with him, you know? I can't treat him the same as my other kids, because I know for a fact that those other babies are mine, and I love them to death. I just can't love him full on, love him until I know that he is my flesh and blood. I just can't. I can't. Never. I want to be with him. I do not want to be with the other guy. He constantly tells me I do and I don't. And I'm ready to basically move on with our family. I understand the mistakes that I made. I at least admitted to it. I came out and said what I did. But I'm willing to become a family. We already are a family, but... So. You want to work on this? Yes. She says she wants to try to be a family. And she wants to do the work. You can't be a family when you're seeing other men. Well, I, I think... don't see no other men. 
Mr. Byram, I think what you're going to have to do, and I know this is difficult, because once you've been hurt, it's hard to put yourself back out there, right? Because you feel like it can happen again. Yeah. And there's also this notion that how can she ever prove you wrong and show that she can be faithful if you don't give her the opportunity? I don't want to argue in front of our kids anymore. I want them to grow up and be like, damn, our, my family is awesome. We go on trips, we go on vacations. There's no arguing between us. I don't want that anymore. I don't want to argue anymore. I just don't. That is, that's the only reason I want to go. It was the kid and the arguing. It has to stop. The arguing has to stop. And it's, 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 it's overwhelming me and I just... I, so the stakes it. truly are high. Yes. Yeah. And I, if, Ms. If, Morris, I need... it seems like this truly is affecting you. I can see behind your eyes a lot of sadness. Yes, Your Honor. You know you've made a mistake. Yes, Your Honor. Do you regret the mistake you made? Do I regret cheating, but I don't regret my son. I mean, I would never regret a kid, regardless of what happens. But I do regret cheating. You do? Yes. When you look at your son, does it make you feel like you let him down in some ways because you don't truly know who his father is? Yes, Your Honor. I know that's hard. Because as a mother, you want to give your child everything, right? Yes. But you really can't give your child a very important answer, which is, who's my father? Yes, Your Honor. This mistake doesn't just affect Jackson. It, it will affect the other two children. Yes. Because they will have to grow up without their father in the home. Mr. Byram, let me ask you. Are you really ready for the results or is there a level of comfort in not knowing for you? Um, I really want to know. You do? I, I, I feel bad for, you know, not doing the same for him. But on the other hand, I don't. But I really want to know if he's my son or not. But I want to really be able to, like, full on be, like, a father to him like I am to my other kids. That's, that's what I'm looking for here. And then, if... Say we never opened this envelope and we never knew the results. I'll never... Change. How would you go forward? I'll never... I'll, I, like I said, I'll still get him clothes, shoes, whatever he needs, but I just... I just won't hold him or whatever else. I, I take care of him financially and physically, but emotionally, that's all her. I don't want... I'm good. And is that the way it is now at home? He doesn't hold the baby? Not really. Sometimes, but not really. No. Yeah. Like, I do, but I don't. At all. Like, I give him attention. I made him laugh for the first time in his life. Everything else, but... For the most part, I just leave him to her. I don't feed him his bottles. I don't change him. I don't do none of that. That's all her. So, do the other children notice there's a difference? Uh, I'm not sure. If they're... They might just be you know, too little to really yeah, know that I'm... Yeah, they're two and three, so Okay. Yeah, so they okay. don't really know. All right, I think it's time for the results. Jerome? Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Morris versus Byram, when it comes to one month old, Jackson Byram. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Byram, you are the father. Yes. Yes. I'm happy about that. that just, Congratulations. Thank you. That just. That really helped me out a lot. That, that like, How does it feel now? Feels great. Almost want to cry that he's mine. That would yep. be fine. You've been through a lot. No, really. I, and I can see by the way you talked about how you love your other children, that that was really bothering you, that you felt like you couldn't fully love this innocent, beautiful baby. No, 
He seemed like a good guy. Ms. Morris? I'm happy. You relieved? Yes. Is there something you'd like to say to Mr. Byram after all of this? I'm very sorry, Josh. I'm glad you're the dad. Trust me, I'm very, very happy. I just, I just hope that now that you know this, that you could just forget about all those other people and just focus on me and, my fa and our family instead of trying to go and still around with him. That's all I care about. That's it. If he wasn't in jail, she'd still be with him. I just might be used as a stepping stone until he comes back for her. That's it. That's not true, Josh. What is true, Miss Morris? I want to. What be, is true? I want to be with him. I do not want to be with the other guy. He constantly tells me I do, and I don't. And I'm ready to basically move on with our family. Because this is what this is about. Ultimately, you come here for answers, but you have to use those answers for good. Ms. Cherpez, you claim you and your grandmother have been given no choice but to drag the defendant into court today because you say he moved away and abandoned your nine-month-old daughter, Araya. You believe the DNA results will prove that he is her biological father and you demand he stops running from his responsibilities. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McQueen, you claim that Ms. Cherpez's relationships with multiple other men is what drove you away and you believe that today's results will prove baby Araya's father is another man. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Cherpez, tell me, what uh, has Mr. McQueen done for your daughter so far? He has bought her one box of diapers and, like, two things of wipes. So she's eight months old, nine months old, pretty much nothing? Yep. And I can see that that really hurts you. You very angry about that? Yes. Tell the court. It's hard because, I don't know, I didn't ever see it like this. How did you see it? Like he had promised. And how was that? <laughs> Definitely not like this. I had moved out to go live with him, and we had actually planned on having her. And everything went downhill from there. Mr. McQueen. Yes, Your Honor. So have you done anything for this baby besides just these diapers? Yes, Your Honor, I actually have. What have you done? Um, the first day I met her, I brought her diapers. The uh, third time she let me see Araya, I also brought her diapers and wipes, and the last time that I was trying to see her before I did leave the state of Michigan, I dropped off clothes and boxes of diapers and three packs of wipes to her grandmother. So you don't believe Araya is your biological child, and you're saying you still stepped up anyway to the best of your ability? Yes, Your Honor. What is your position right now? You, 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 ha you have doubts. Yes. Explain to the court. I have doubts because I didn't have her full attention when uh, we were together. She had, uh, was more, more interested in getting other men's attention than mine. So tell me, what was the nature of your relationship? Were you committed? Were you boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes, we were committed, yes. So you were boyfriend and girlfriend in a committed relationship? Yes. You were boyfriend and girlfriend, Ms. Cherpez? Yes. Yeah. Mr. McQueen? Yes. Uh, on our, our porch, I asked you if you wanted this baby and that this baby was yours, and you told me, yes, that you wanted the baby and you wanted this family, and now you're standing here. Explain yourself, please. How did yeah, it change? It changed because I want to know if it's mine or not. The only reason you're questioning me is because you were unfaithful. I was unfaithful, yes. And so you caught him cheating on you? Yep. And is, how did this lead to the paternity question? How, I mean, if, if you say you were faithful, he cheated on you. That still has nothing to do with Araya's paternity. It's because he doesn't trust himself, so he thought it was all right, so he assumes I thought it was okay to be cheating on him. So you're saying because he was out there doing the wrong thing, he thinks you were as well. Yep. But you were not. No. Nope. How did you find out he was cheating? I set him up. Not necessarily set him up. I had told him I was going to my dad's for about four days. I had only went there for a few hours. And I told my dad that I just had this weird feeling. And as soon as I pulled in the driveway, I just instantly knew. And he came to the window, looked out, and I had told him to unlock my door. 
he had unlocked it but stood in front of the door to where I couldn't open it all the way and he's like, you're gonna be mad. And I played dumb, I heard her talking. So you open the door and someone was there. Yep. What happens from there? Um, I asked him to make her leave and they were both smirking at me the whole time like it was a joke. And I, I had, did not all your honor think it was a joke. I had my three year old daughter with me too. So I didn't want confrontation in front of her and I ended up kicking him out and took him off my lease the next day. Do you believe at the end of the day, he thinks you're cheating because he's the one's cheating? Yes. Mr. McQueen, is there truth to that? Are you just out there doing the wrong thing and you think she is too? What evidence do you have that she's even cheating? I have heard numerous times and have seen her phone from the corner eye view of walking by that she is getting attention of other men, she's getting money from other men, why I am working 12 hours a day, six days a week, try to support our family. What do these messages say? Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I know she did lie to me and actually she did tell me she was going to her father's to do laundry and Instead, I actually found out that she went to another man's house and spent the night. Is that true, Miss Cherpez? Yes. So you did? You went to another man's house and spent the night? Yeah, because he had brought a woman to our house. So I, to kind of avoid the fighting, I had left, yes. And so you find out he's cheating. Is this before or after you have this episode where you go to the house and there's another woman in the house with him? This was before. So before? It's been numerous occasions. It Your wasn't Honor. just once. Uh, there's been about three girls in my house, yes. Whoa. Whoa. Now, at the point you realized you were pregnant, what happens? Um, we were excited, actually. And then about two weeks after I had found out I was pregnant, that's when I caught him cheating on me. Wow. Two weeks after? Yep. So you find out you're pregnant and you're supposedly a happy couple. Yep. You're happy about the baby coming. He assures your mother he wants this child. Yep. And then two weeks later, he's cheating. Yes. I'm mad at Mr. McQueen because the responsibility is falling on me and her, my husband, and it should be his responsibility for the baby, not our How is the responsibility, responsibility falling on you? Because she's, they're staying with us. I'm the one who cares for the baby when mommy can't. She's doing, been doing really good, but there's times she's one person and she's by herself, so I'm, you know, I've had to step up to the plate. I don't understand this. I guess I'm just older generation or something, but I don't understand how a father can do this to their child, because I know she's his baby. Mm -hmm. She was so happy when she got pregnant because they had planned it, and he knows that. And then now he's doing this. Wow. Why? I mean, I, I don't understand it. So, Mr. McQueen, did you plan to have Araya? Yes, we did plan on having a ride. So now she's here. What's the problem? The problem is that when I was at work, she was doing what I don't even know, talking to all these other men during all of this. And this was, you know, not okay with me. So She was talking to men or she was sleeping with men? I don't know. I was working 12 hours a day, six days a week. It's all in his head. All of it. You say you planned this baby. You were excited for this baby. Two weeks later... You were making babies with somebody else. What is going on? Um, that I didn't have her attention no more. And she was trying to get the attention of other men. How? How? She was texting other men. She was uh, going to see other men. She was using me like... Using wife you should... for what? Using me for a place. I, wouldn't I didn't need money, to live with so you. I was went living to with another my dad. ex-boyfriend to get money. Yeah, and I took you out of there so you didn't have to put up with the bad situation. I could have stayed there. To what, put her in a worse one? That was not the plan. It takes two to tango. All right, so we've established that Mr. McQueen wasn't up to no good, but I wanna know about you. Were you getting back at him? Were you saying, you know what, I'll just talk to some other people since he's on the phone and he's texting Jessica and he's sleeping with women no, and... I was talking to my... I have guy friends. I'm allowed to have friends. So you have guy friends? Yeah. None of whom you've been intimate with? No. Nope. A week after I left my house, she moved her ex-boyfriend in, the one she was getting money with before. A week after that, I heard she was sleeping with another man, 
and then three weeks after that, she chose another one. And if I was one well, of my what doubts, their names? Is, Let's, I mean, is um, it's if, all stuff you hear. You know, I was the child's father. Then why did she refuse me to come to the delivery room? Because she had another man there. Because you were arguing me about her last name, and I had I had informed you that I'm not arguing while I'm having our child. But yet there was the same man that you were getting money from when you were living with me and we were together before Araya was born, you were, and he was there. Mr. Yeah, as a support system, I I have friends. Mr. That, McQueen, is this other man named Glenn not? Gerber? No, it is not, Your Honor. Because this court has identified a man named Glenn Gerber... This is also one who Miss Chirpes was intimate with. That would be the man she stayed the night with when she told me she was at her father's doing laundry. That was. Is the man that true, Miss Chirpes? Yes. So you to told him you were at your father's house doing laundry, but really you had spent the night with another man. Yep. That man is Mr. Gerber. Yes. And he's in our courtroom today. He's at court, and I'd like to hear from him, Jerome. Will you please escort Mr. Gerber in? Yes. Me. Maybe go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Gerber. Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to ask you, did you have a sexual relationship with Ms. Chirpes? At one point in time, yes. And so, how did you all meet? Uh, online. And it quickly developed into a sexual relationship, or...? Um, she was a single parent. I was a single parent. Um, it was kind of just getting to know each other to begin with. So, was it an intimate relationship? Yes. At one point, yes. At one point, it was. How often were you intimate? Uh, not very often at all. Do you think there's a chance that you could be Araya's biological father? Um, I do not. I didn't see or hear much about the baby. Nothing's ever been said to me about being the dad until now. So, Mr. McQueen, you're saying that Mr. Gerber's testimony that he was also intimate with Ms. Chirp has further validates or fuels your doubt yes. as to what she was doing yes, sure. while you were working. She also told me on Facebook that I was not her father and that said man that was giving her money and was at the delivery room was her father. Mm. Did you say that, Ms. Chirpes? Did you say someone else was baby Araya's biological father? I may have agreed with him, yes. Oh. What do you mean agreed with him? He made the assertion and you said that's true? He wasn't there anyways. I was doing it on my own, regardless of who I've was the asked, dad. Your Honor, I asked her for a DNA test from day one. And uh, she's refused me up until this point. I never know where you're at. So, Ms. Chirpes, tell the court, what has this been like as a young woman raising this child on your own? It's hard because she's not my only kid. How many children do you have? I have two children. I had my own house. I was living in the house that we had actually originally gotten together. And I struggled for the whole year to keep it. I was working 12-hour uh, shifts, going to school. I was taking Raya to school every day with me. And where were you at, Nate? Uh, I was McQueen. trying to get my life together so I can But why didn't you think of that before you wanted it. this baby then? Yeah. Why didn't that come into play first? I did. No, yes, you didn't. Yes, I did, because she did you not didn't. realize that I was working my tail end No, you didn't, tail because end why are you saying that now? You had the baby. You should have known ahead of time to have gotten yourself together before you pregnated her. If you're going to dip it, pay for it. I worked every day. Do you think your daughter's gonna care about you being gone and working on yourself or the time that you spend with her? I don't get to choose when I wanna be a mom. <laughs> Mr. McQueen, Ms. Chirpes' statement is true. It's not a matter of convenience, when it works for you, when it doesn't work for you. And I agree, you, Your You Honor. said to this court, you planned this baby. And you do understand that it could be your biological child. Yes. Why not be more present? Because me and her don't get along and she's refused me numerous times. This isn't times. about us. Be an adult. You this is for her, not you and not me. To even see her. You tried to make me choose between my other child and her when I know my other child is mine 100%. I just tried to take you... Araya to you to go see you, but I couldn't because your baby mama was there with your son. Like, you can't... It's always about you. All right. 
there's only one thing to do at this point. Let's get the results. Jerome. All right. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Chirpes versus McQueen, pertaining to whether Mr. Gerber or Mr. McQueen is the father of eight-month-old Araya Chirpes, it has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. McQueen. See? You are the father, Mr. McQueen. Thank you, Your Honor. Where do we go from here? Back home and I'm there 100%, Your Honor. Thank you, because I'm tired. I can tell she is just that. For eight months, she's had to fill in your shoes. And my husband's disabled, and I'm taking care of my mother with Alzheimer's, and then I have the baby because he wouldn't step up, and it's his child, and I knew it. Well, I'm sorry. Thank I you. I really am. Thank you. So now that we have the truth, let's do something about it. Your blessing, the only blessing in this now is that at eight months, she really won't remember this. Yes. And you have to take that blessing now and run with it, meaning you got to step in there and you've got to make sure she understands that she has a father and you're there for her. Let's, let's try to clear the slate now.